2022 World Cup is being hosted by Qatar, a Middle Eastern country with a deep and rich history of having oil. And uh, if you've been following the news, you know that there's been some controversies over Qatar hosting the World Cup. You know, like, did Qatar offer bribes to FIFA to be the host? Did Qatar exploit migrant workers to build the soccer stadiums? Are we pronouncing Qatar right? <laughs> is it Qatar or is it Qatar or is it Qatar? And if we mumble it, do you think they'll notice? All of these are questions. <laughs> but one of the biggest controversies that Qatar has has been the fact that they have very strict laws prohibiting same-sex relationships. And these anti-gay policies are causing some tension on the pitch. Amid the cheers of World Cup fans, controversy is simmering. It's over the host country, Qatar, and other nations' treatment of LGBTQ people. Rainbow imagery, a sudden flashpoint after FIFA demanded the captains of seven European teams not wear this armband in support of LGBTQ causes, insisting the captains wear FIFA-sanctioned bands. The team captains of several countries say they will not be wearing the rainbow-colored One Love armbands as they had intended after FIFA threatened to give players yellow cards just for doing so. After receiving two yellow cards, of course, a player will face a one-match suspension. Yeah, that's right. The captains of seven European teams planned to show their support of the LGBTQ community by wearing rainbow armbands. But then, when FIFA threatened them with yellow cards, they scrapped the idea. Which, in my opinion, shows that you're not the ally you claim to be, right? <laughs> And just like, hey, I support your right to live free from persecution unless I get a warning in a game where I kick a ball. Then I'm out. You gaze on your own. I'm just saying, that's a yellow card. I mean, <laughs> like a yellow card. It's not even like you're out. Just a warning and you're like, yeah, no, <laughs> no, I can't. I tried. <laughs> and by the way, the rainbow ban has got to be hard for the referees too. You know, that's risky because the referees are out there and they're like, yellow card. Red card! Oh, wait, we just started a rainbow! No! Don't take me away! <laughs> oh, a, a little crazy story as well. If you happen to be in China watching the World Cup, um, <laughs> you, you probably are missing some things because on the government TV network, you'll barely see any footage of the fans at all. Yeah, because China doesn't want its citizens to see people from every other country enjoying themselves without wearing masks. <laughs> yeah. Because they, 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 like, they just don't want them to know that that's possible, <laughs> you know? I, yeah, and I mean, I, I, it sounds crazy, but it's the same way Canadian TV censors their footage so it'll never show fans behaving rudely, because then Canadians will be like, wait, other people are telling others to f*** off? We didn't know we could do that! <laughs> hey! <laughs> but maybe my favorite part of the World Cup is seeing how people from different parts of the world find ways to yell at each other. Because right? remember, a lot of the teams have coaches who are not from their country. You know, like, for instance, Saudi Arabia's coach is actually French. He doesn't speak Arabic, but the Saudi translator doesn't speak French. <laughs> so, when the coach got mad at the team's performance in the first half, he had to yell at them in English so that the translator could yell at them in Arabic. What are we doing here? Messi, at the middle of the pitch, he has the ball, you stay in front of the defense. You want to go to Marquis in the middle? Take your phone, you can make a picture with him if you want. Yes, but no. You are in front of the defense. You have nobody. He's going to follow. See, this is the magic of the World Cup, people. <laughs> a French man yelling in English to a group of Saudis about a British sport. It's beautiful. <laughs> I also wonder if the translator is augmenting the message so he doesn't lose any friends. He's just like, you are terrible, you all suck, you should be ashamed of yourself, is what he said. <laughs> because you know me, Mahmoud, I love you guys, eh? I thought you were great in the first half. I thought you guys were great. Now, so far, this World Cup has had a lot of great moments. You know, Saudi Arabia pulled up a huge upset over powerhouse Argentina. Mexico had a heroic penalty save against Poland. Wales proved to the whole world that they are a different country than England. And one of the most exciting moments was when Japan defeated Germany in an incredible match. But my favorite part of that game was what the Japanese fans did after it. When Japan beat Germany, fans were ecstatic, right? But instead of leaving after the match to celebrate, Hundreds of Japanese fans stayed in the stadium and picked up the trash that other fans left behind. <laughs> Pictures on social media show the Japanese fans threading their way through the seats, making sure the stadium was tidy. 
before leaving. Some online comments calling them the best guests in the world. Wow, that is amazing. Unfortunately, all of those Japanese fans were arrested because the Qatari police deemed the act of tidying up, quote, kind of gay. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the most amazing things to see. And you see it at every World Cup. It'll be Japan, it'll be South Korea, and I think it's a valuable lesson to all of us. If you're throwing a party, make sure you invite Japanese fans to your house, because <laughs> then you don't have to clean up. And you know, if you ask me though, this is a huge flex from the Japanese fans. Everyone's like, oh, it's so humble. No, it's a flex. What is a more baller move than beating somebody and then cleaning up after them? <laughs> yeah, like here. Oh, let me take out your trash. Oh, oh, did you drop this? Did you drop this? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 we'll clean up. You guys can go and figure out how to play soccer. Yeah, we'll just do that.